Recent reports from the local meteorological administration in Xinjiang paint a grim picture of adverse weather conditions, wreaking havoc across the region, particularly in its northern territories. The onslaught of cold air has ushered in a myriad of challenges, ranging from fierce winds to blizzards and dust storms, engulfing multiple areas in a state of chaos and prompting authorities to take swift action. One of the most notable impacts of this inclement weather is the suspension of passenger trains in various parts of Xinjiang. The railway department, in a bid to prioritize passenger safety, has implemented these suspensions as a precautionary measure against the treacherous conditions prevailing in the region. Traffic controls have also been imposed in key tourist attractions such as Kanas and Serum Lake, underscoring the severity of the situation. Altay and Taching, two prominent cities in Xinjiang, find themselves grappling with heavy to severe snowfall, with Altay bearing the brunt of particularly intense snowfall patterns. Reports indicate that Altay has been blanketed by heavy, and in some cases, extremely heavy snow, with measurements reaching as high as 45.5 mm. certain northern areas of Altay, snow accumulation has surpassed the meter mark, with Hemu Township in Birkin County recording an astonishing 2.14 meters of snowfall, rendering travel and daily activities exceedingly challenging for residents. The perilous weather conditions have prompted the Xinjiang authorities to elevate the dust storm warning level from yellow to orange. Strong dust storms, characterized by drastically reduced visibility of less than 500 meters, have swept through regions including Kashgar, southern Bazhu, and Turpan, leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. The onslaught of strong winds, reaching up to force 14, has wreaked havoc on vehicles, leading to numerous instances of damage, such as broken windows and stranded vehicles on roads. Tourists traveling along the Lianhuo Expressway in Turpan found themselves engulfed in a sandstorm of unprecedented intensity, with wind so powerful that the sun was obscured by mid-morning, casting an eerie red-orange hue over the landscape for over half an hour. Thank you.
In response to the severity of the weather conditions, authorities have mobilized resources to mitigate the impact on essential services, particularly the railway network. Suspension of passenger trains and heightened monitoring of heavy snowfall conditions are part of a concerted effort to ensure operational safety. Dispatch orders and early warning notices are being issued promptly, and additional personnel have been deployed to reinforce inspections of railway equipment and facilitate snow clearance operations. Adverse weather conditions have also necessitated the temporary closure of several scenic spots, with authorities closely monitoring weather forecasts to determine suitable reopening times that guarantee visitor safety. Meteorological analysts from the China Weather Network attribute these extreme weather events to a combination of factors, including low precipitation levels in northern China since March and elevated temperatures in sand source areas, such as Mongolia and northwest China. They warn that such events are likely exacerbated by fluctuations in temperature and humidity, resulting from climate change, underscoring the urgent need for comprehensive measures to address its impacts. In conclusion, the recent onslaught of adverse weather conditions in northern Xinjiang serves as a stark reminder of the vulnerability of regions to the impacts of climate change. As authorities continue to grapple with the immediate challenges posed by extreme weather events, it becomes increasingly evident that concerted efforts are needed at both local and global levels to mitigate the long-term effects and build resilience against future climatic uncertainties.